And I've got to say, just thinking about that, looking at you, you've got a blue jacket on, you've got a blue shirt on, you've got blue eyes, Richard. <laughs> you really are on message. Um, <laughs> production manager yes and you're going to show me around you're going to show we're going to come around with the team and have a look at what's happening so i'm now in your safe hands what, what are you going to show us so we, you you are in the, uh, the the entry of the workshop yeah so here you are the old generation the t2 yes uh, and here you have an example of the new generation the et3 so on the uh, on this uh, pack battery you have um, nine modules like this. Got it. Nine modules yeah. assembled in series, and all the pack battery is managed by the BMS, the battery management system. We have 20 this, and this is an example, 20 electronic cells. Wow. And this electronic cells is uh, an assembly, a stacking of la several layers of uh, anode, cathode, and electrolyte. This specific module is that it is a LMP technology, lithium metal polymer. So the, the anode is uh, the lithium, and um, the, the, the electrolyte is a polymer, the electrolyte is solid. So it's a solid state battery. It says yep. it is a solid state battery. In this uh, facilities, we made the cathode foil. Yes. So we start. We start with a current collector. Mm -hmm. It is a aluminium foil. Yep. And uh, on this uh, current collector, we deposit mat different materials. Uh, we mix on the first floor. You see, uh, you see after, and uh, we deposit on the one side and after on the other side uh, the, the mixed materials. Yep. And the deposit is. Is by extrusion. The materials is a, a mix of um, lithium phosphate, iron phosphate, yep. uh, carbon, yes, lithium salt, yes, and of course water. We mix the yeah. uh, together. We mix together. Yeah. And after, uh, on the first floor, you can see the the coil and the cathode pass through a drying tunnel. Mm. I'm loving these shoes, by the way. I mean, I'm thinking of keeping these if I can. Yeah, and I mean, it's important just to point out, this isn't a gigafactory. This yes. is a, a, a small scale facility where you've been developing the research and development, you know, mm -hmm. proposition. You, you've been bringing this to a point where, yeah, it is a commercial application. Here, yeah. the... The foil of the current collector and the cathode yep, I can go, go up on the first floor. And this is the drying tunnel. Right. Ah, okay. oh, yes, you explained that. So, so to it, evaporate the water and. Yes, to yeah. evaporate the water. The foil go down and yeah. we unroll, uh, rolling up uh, the, the foil here. Yes. And after, Into you these. see the yeah. result yeah, got it. of the cathode foil. This, this <laughs> coil pass through the another facilities. The depo we deposit the electrolyte. Mm. It is the, the specific of the blue solution because it is a, a solid electrolyte. Mm. And the, the specification of the um, blue solution, the electrolyte is solid and is a very thickness because the electrolyte has a, thick, um, a thickness around uh, 10, uh, 10 micrometers, ten, yeah. between 10 and, um, 10 and uh, 15 micrometers. Forgive me for getting 
like mixed up or something. How come we're not seeing like the classic clean and dry rooms where you've got, you know, a forensically locked down thing where we've all got to wear complete masks and everything? We don't need it here for our technology. Shit. We need to have the humidity control. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Of course, uh, we, uh, we cannot be in the desert of Paris Jordan with all the, uh, the, 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 the dust or everything, but yeah. Yeah, we are in, first in Brittany, we are quite lucky for the, the quantity of particles in the air. Yeah, good. yeah. Then we are okay today. So for uh, this technology, we are okay. Got it. And that is just one line. We have the similar line here on the other side for it. Yeah, yeah. So now we come to the other line. The coil of cathode electrolyte. Yeah. And it's been here, in half. Yeah. Okay. And here we have the anode coil, yes. which is uh, lithium. Yes. Lithium. Yep. So the coil says we complex the uh, uh, the cathode electrolyte coil and the lithium coil. And we complex here. We have two cylinders running up. Mm -hmm. And so you have the lithium and the, the lithium and the complex. Yep. You see we have the complex and you see here the current collector, the grey. Yep. A black, it is the cathode and electrolyte. Yeah. And uh, and the lithium. Lithium coil. And you have a, a one layer of electronic cells. And after we're taking around 50 layers of cathode, electrolyte, anode coil in the battery. So, so this cell format is not pouch, it's not prism, it's not cylindrical. Is this unique to, to, to Blue Solutions? I haven't seen this anywhere else in anything that I've, I've witnessed with battery production. I've been everywhere in the world, of course I haven't. But, but is this a unique format to... to yes. It yes. is, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fascinating. Very good. You see, I have the final because uh, the, the last layer, yeah. we deposit uh, an isolate yeah. So like you see, we are not using any film. Uh, okay. For everything is just you need at the end to connect. You need the copper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, in yeah. the other application yeah. that you have seen, they use copper everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So yeah. you see, it's a copper I, there, I, but copper. I knew you told yeah. me the truth, but I just yeah. I knew that was copper. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah. I told you that we are using for the contact, but not for the lithium. Got it. You see, yeah, our lithium it. is a self system. Mm. So you don't need yeah. any and, copper. And to connect the the cell. With the battery, so we did, we we cream, cream, yeah, yeah, yep. we cream the copper yeah. on the lithium side, yes, yeah, because the lithium has a, a fusion point around 180 degrees, and on the uh, cathode side, we weld, we got it, we yep. weld the copper, yeah, yep. I see and here. It is the the final test yeah. of the pack battery. We control a, a leak, leak mm -hmm. test, mm -hmm. because uh, the pack battery is um, uh, on, is leaked to the water. Yes. We control test and also different control uh, tension, uh, capacity, and after, if, if the control is good, uh, the pack battery goes uh, to the. In the to, here to the customer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Goes to, goes to, goes to live in the real world. I'm here now in the lab with Margot Lequie, and Margot is going to show us round, tell us what actually goes on in uh, an R&D lab. So here we store uh, the materials we are testing. There are different uh, materials uh, in uh, in the uh, in this box just to protect it from moisture and yeah. any contamination. Uh, here we store uh, the films. Here you have some separators. Yeah. Uh, here you have some plastic foils. And uh, the, the idea is just to protect everything from dust, from moisture, from yeah. contamination. On this way, we have an area where we can do impedance measurements. Um, the purpose of the impedance is to, to analyze uh, where the limitation in our cells yeah. If, it, if it is coming from the electrolyte, from the cathode, from the interfaces, 
and it's really, really helpful to, to design uh, the new chemistries and the new assemblies. Yes, sure. yes. So, uh, like I said, obviously it's not busy because most people are on holiday. Mm. Here we have electronic microscope and here it's an optical one. Oh, right, okay. Well, well, and what's that? And this big machine, it's, uh, it's a tomograph. Um, the idea of tomography, it's like a scanner in, uh, in medicine. Oh, right. The idea is to reconstruct everything in three dimensions. In an electron microscope, you see only one thing in a slice. Right. In 2D. Yeah. yeah. Here, you reconstruct all the slices together to reform the defect in yeah, 3D. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. It's, it's, it's a really big baby, but it's really helpful to, to image all the defects yeah. and, uh, and see the correlation between the defects and the other defects. I'd love to have been in the meeting when you have to talk to the financial director or somebody else and yeah. explain why you need this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not always easy, no, but I we can manage. Imagine. Yeah, no, I can imagine. <laughs> and bonjour. Hello. Bonjour. Yeah. <laughs> they are currently trying new materials. Uh, right. Here it's a new uh, electrode material. Yep. Um, so this morning, Nasima have assembled uh, or Bonjour. manufactured this new cathode, and this afternoon she will assemble some cells to test it. Yeah, but ultimately, you've got to produce product. Sure. You know, it's got to become commercial. Sure. It's got to become commercial at industrial scale. Yeah. So, like I said earlier, it's great to see that's mm. that is now happening, and I'm sure you're you're happy about that too. I am. Um, but of course, it's it is always typically work in progress. So. You'll get a great commercial proposition, you'll go to the market, get out there, well done. But then you're going to carry on, aren't you? Yeah. So, because you've got all this equipment, all these amazing people. Yeah, wow. <laughs> so, so great. We've seen everything, I think, and it was fascinating. So, thank you very much for your time, Margot. Well done. Richard Bouveret, CEO and Chairman of Blue Solutions. Honestly, this has been a revelation. What happens next, Richard? Or many things will uh, will happen, but uh, you know, for us here, you are. It's 12 years that we are improving this uh, this production of solid state. Uh, as I said, we are the. It's a it's a mega factory. Yeah. It's not a giga for the time being, and we are going towards the giga factory. But it's not the aim to go for giga factory. Our aim is to develop the the, the battery of the future. Yes. The battery that will be solid. Why it's solid? Because they will offer very high density, they will uh, provide more safety, and they will be a uh, clean battery. Mm -hmm. And also, you know that uh, batteries are good if they are smart, if they are very well piloted. And um, this is what we are doing there. So we are developing ourselves to offer the battery to the world of automotive, passenger car and trucks um, on the wall I would say a global uh, basis, completely. We will offer that to, uh, as well to commercial vehicles, to off-highway, and obviously many applications will come that will be maybe out of the automotive in the future. Is anything going to happen commercially soon with big players that we're going to hear about? Or is, or is that years away still? Or is this, you know, are, are, you, are you coming to market soon? Yeah, we want to come to the market soon, but for us, and, uh, and we are working with different uh, OEMs today, we are partnering with them. So the real, if you like, proposition when it really kicks off and you're really at market and it's very exciting, you told me a bit more about it, mm -hmm. I'm probably not allowed to say everything you told me, but the Gen 4 battery, when is that, what's the SOP, what's the start of production of that, that Gen 4 proposition? So our Gen 4 normally should come to the world around 2027 as oh, right. a C sample. Away, and D sample normally 2028. In the meantime, what you see behind us, we have the Gen 3, which yeah. is, uh, that will be developed. Because you know, we are in the Kaizen industry, continuous improvement. Yeah. And the Gen 3 will, make, will be improved, improved, improved until the Gen 3 becomes more or less a Gen 4. Yeah, okay. yeah. gotcha. You know. I wish you well, Richard. Bon chance. Thank you. It was so, 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 so good for us to have you with us. You know, your point of view, and you, I think you bring, you, you, you bring some point to us. You Thank know, you. I, I feel more in terms of business richer today than, 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 than yesterday. You know? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It's a pleasure.